All right. Good evening, Powerful Parent Club. We got a little, uh, some slight def technical difficulties because the internet, right? <laughs> um, but thanks for, for tuning in. If you are here, if you're watching uh, live, say hi, give us a wave, give us a like, let us know that you're here, that you're with us, you're, gonna, you're ready to try something new, something a little bit different than maybe you've ever done before, or maybe you've done it uh, in the past, but uh, we are very excited to have Sifu Richard Mullen here um, uh, joining us today from South Mountain uh, Tai Chi Chuan. Uh, and uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna uh, work together uh, with, with our partners. Deb is gonna make a special guest appearance here tonight. Uh, so uh, we're, we're very excited to have that. So hopefully uh, you've, you've had a chance to unwind a little bit, got the kids to sleep, and you're ready to, to disconnect from some things that have been stressing you out and reconnect to the things that are important because that's uh, what, what life is all about, finding the things that bring you joy, bring you some happiness uh, and you know, make you feel good. So if you're here, great. Uh, so I'm gonna bring Richard on uh, and we are very, very excited to, uh, to get moving and share some positive movement with the group. Hello, Richard. Hello, Jason. Hello, everybody. Um, Jason, thank you so much for inviting me and having me here tonight. And uh, thank you, everyone who's joining us remotely um, for, for joining us tonight. Hopefully, you've uh, got the kids to bed. Um, you've closed the laptop for the night and maybe even uh, corked a bottle of wine and <laughs> had a laugh. So, hopefully. Um, but yeah. hey, Jason, I, I just want to say um, in, in front of the group, what you are doing for us as, as parents, as community members, as neighbors um, is, is really exceptional and super helpful. So thank, thank you, you. Thank you for that. I, I appreciate that. It, it, we, I, need, I need to hear it more often because it's, yeah, I'm sure every, every parent out here knows it's uh, the world is a tough place right now. So anything I can do to, to help in that way is, uh, you know, I, I love it, and I, I hope to be able to keep doing it. Absolutely, absolutely, and that's exactly what we do at South Mountain Tai Chi as well. Obviously, my my focus is on Tai Chi. Um, my goal for tonight um, is to pick up where Jason um, left us, which is how how do we reconnect in times like this um, with the things that matter most to us? And for me. Um, one of those very important things is, is my wife, who's joining me here today. So come on in. Um, <laughs> and I'm just putting her on the hook. From the yeah. so, um, so reconnecting with our partners, whoever they may be, um, super, super important. And what I want to do, my goal for this session tonight is to leave you with a couple tools, a couple new activities that you can practice both individually and together as partners that will hopefully help you now and over time um, be able to communicate and, and maintain your communication skills together. And um, to start right in, what I'd like, and this is gonna be an interactive session, so, so get, yeah. ready, get ready to jump on in. Um, this is awesome. Before, before we just start diving in, um, I just want to remind ourselves here that um and bring Deb on too. <laughs> All right, welcome, welcome everybody. Hi. So, uh, so being able to communicate well um, means that maybe even more so being able to learn how to be a good listener, right? And before we can actually get there for our partners, we first need to be able to get there for ourselves. And so now comes the interactive part. We're going to dive on in. I'm going to show you a Tai Chi standing bear exercise that's going to help all of us right now at the end of our busy day um, reconnect with ourselves. So with me, go ahead and stand with your feet shoulder width apart. And you can just face me as is. Uh, glance down and we're going to put your toes straight forward. So if your toes are pointing out a little bit, just go ahead and walk them in. Point your toes straight forward. And as if you're sitting onto a high stool, I just want you to bend your knees, lower your tailbones just a little bit towards the ground. Lower that center of gravity towards the earth, towards your root. And our root is that connection point 
where our feet meet the ground, right? So feel the weight of your upper body bearing down on the arches of your feet, pressing your feet into the floor. And you're going to talk, I'm going to be describing these things in several different ways. What you want to start doing at this moment is start being present within yourselves. And being present within ourselves means that we need to learn and practice how to be still within ourselves. So yeah. lower the center of gravity, connect with the ground beneath your feet, actually start to feel your body connecting with that ground. Feel the weight of your body pressing those arches into the floor. Start taking a big deep breath with me through the nose. We're gonna breathe in through the nose and we're gonna fill our lungs up 100% all the way. Exercise the lungs and when they're full, I want you to exhale and follow that air back through your body, down through your legs, back through your arches, back into the ground. And when you're empty, go ahead and fill back up again. So a couple nice big breaths together. Reconnecting with ourselves, making our minds still, making our bodies still, and becoming ultra present within ourselves. So I want you to start asking yourself, how, how, how do I feel, right? How does my body feel right now, right? Put your thoughts, put your mind deep in the core of your body, right? Between your belly button and spine. That's where we're breathing and that is where, where our, our thoughts remain right now. So what I want you to do now is float your elbows and your hands forward. Allow your ribs to sink deeper towards the ground. I want you to soften all of the muscles in your upper body, starting with your neck, all the way down along your shoulders, all the way down through uh, between your shoulder blades, down along your spine, down through your lower back, straight down into your hips. And feel all that weight and all that stress just melt down through your body through your legs, through your feet, into the ground. Let it go. Nice deep breathing with me. Breathing in, filling up the lungs 100%. Exercise the lungs and exhale. Follow that air back through your body into the ground. Now, we're starting to reconnect with ourselves, and I want you to bring your hands up as if we're wrapping them around a big tree in front of us. So... One of these big uh, Maplewood South Orange trees out that we have around here. That tree is so big, you can't quite touch your fingertips, right? But you're reaching and you're stretching. There's a little space between your fingers. I want you now to gaze through that space between your fingers off to the floor in the distance somewhere. And that's where you're going to be looking. Your hands are right at chest height. So one note here is if you feel tension in your shoulders, probably your hands are a little high. So slide your hands down, lower those shoulders, and pause. That's it. Nice deep breathing. We're in a standing bear posture, in, which is very common in Tai Chi practice. It's a wonderful active rooting and standing meditation posture. You're able to get yourself into this position Lower your center of gravity, soften those upper body muscles, wrapping your arms around that tree and focusing on the breath from the core of your body outward. And I just want you to breathe in with me, breathing in, one, filling up 100%, and exhale. We're going to do that two more times together, holding this position, breathing in, and breathing out. Nice, deep, allow all that air back out and then breathe in one more time. And exhale, releasing all that air back out. Now, what I want you to do, we're going to take standing bear and we're going to turn it into a body scan activity. So think of uh, moving or static standing meditation and we're going to point, uh, roll our palms downward and bring them down so that they are facing our body in that starting position. And I want to, I want you to um, think about taking your next breath and we're going to introduce the bubbling spring. So now you're 
lungs are the pump and your hands are part of the pump and you're going to pump the bubbling spring water up through your arches, through your legs, up through your body, up and out your fingertips and the crown of your head with your inhale. So here we go from the starting position. We're going to take a big inhale, breathing in and your hands are part of the pump, drawing that bubbling spring up through your body all the way up through the crown of your head. When you reach the crown of your head, rotate your palms to face down and exhale slowly as if you're pushing that bubbling spring back through your body, back through your arches, down into the ground with your exhale, all of the water rushing out. Rotate the palms, breathe in, pumping the water up. The water level is following your hands and exhale back down. We're going to do that one more time. Good. Exhale, exhale. Rotate the palms and breathe in again. Excellent. And exhale. All the way back down. Allow every little ounce of that water to release back into the earth. Now go ahead and pause. And I want you to shake out your hands. And I want you to shake out your feet and step out of position a little bit. Sometimes when we stand in those static postures, our body gets a little stiff. But what I'm hoping is that so far you're starting to become still within yourself. You're starting to become a little bit more present with yourself after this crazy day that you've just completed. And yeah. I want you to start thinking about, um, I feel, and I hope you do too, some fullness and some tingling and some energy rushing into my hands and through my fingertips. So part of stimulating um, the breath and holding this posture is all about stimulating blood flow and oxygen and healthy nutrients throughout our body, which is that fullness and tingling that we start to feel. So now that I've distracted you on purpose. And it's awesome, it's awesome because the, the just having a mindfulness connection is so, so important. Most of us don't take the time to think about it uh, over the course of the day where it's mad. So I really, really appreciate this. Wonderful. Uh, wonderful. I'm glad to hear it. So I've distracted you on purpose because <laughs> as I learned to teach, we all hear things differently. Our bodies, all of our bodies take a little different time to kind of recalibrate and jump into a new activity. So repetition, test, retest, test, retest, right? So let's do that. We're going to do the same thing one more time, and then we're going to go on to our partner activity. So let's get into our posture. Nice big exhale, find your root, engage the pump. We're going to pull, draw the bubbling spring up with our inhale, draw that water up through our body all the way up to the crown of our head and exhale, chasing that water slowly back through our body until we're a hundred percent out of air. And then two more times, breathe in. and breathe out. Upper body muscles are soft. Allow that blood to flow. Allow that bubbling spring, breathing in. Allow the bubbling spring to fill your body up. Good, nice big exhale, releasing all of that water back into the ground. Very good. So what we're going to do, um, that that is um, actually, that those are two, new activities for your toolkit. We have the Tai Chi posture and the standing um, meditation pose. We moved into standing bear, wrapping our arms around that tree and breathing deeply. And then we did a body scan with a bubbling spring. So the next thing I want to do is how do we trans, now that we've connected with ourselves, we're more present with ourselves and we're listening to our, our bodies, we're listening to ourselves. How do we translate that to being a good listener for our partner? Well, we're gonna do that by using uh, another Tai Chi activity. In, in Tai Chi martial arts, it's called push hands. It's also referred to as sensing hands because what we're going to do, and just you can just follow along. 
we're going to stand in the same posture we left off, facing each other. And we're, we're approximately one step apart from each other. We're close, but we still have a nice step distance between us. We're going to find our root, find our connection to the ground, feel our weight of our body pressing our arches to the floor. Good. And we're going to go into that standing bear posture. Wrap your arms forward around that tree and notice how your forearms start to come together. So now we're in our sensing hands posture. Now, when we're in this posture, our, the middle of our forearms are connected. Imagine they're glued together in that spot. So as we start to move our arms, our position is gonna stay right where it is, glued in place, uh, so we don't slide around. We wanna maintain that one point of connection. The other thing that I want to make um, clear as we stand here is I'm not resting or leaning on poly. I'm holding my shape and I'm connecting with four ounces of pressure only. Almost like a butterfly has landed. We're definitely connected at the forearms and I can feel that connection, but I'm not leaning or resting on her forearms. Okay. So this is, this is our starting point. From here, what let's allow our palms to face downward and let's allow our arms to travel down towards the ground maintaining that point of connection on both arms as far down as you can go without coming apart and when you've reached that bottom part let's do the bubbling spring rotate the palms up and breathe in coming up staying connected all the way up to the crown of the head Maintain that connection, rotate the palms down when you reach the top, and come down. So we're going to do that two more times, practicing stick, keeping that connection and that four ounce, very light touch. Listening to our partner, listening to the connection that we've made at the forearms. Exhale back down. And we're going to continue one more time with an inhale. Staying connected all the way up to the crown of the head, filling the lungs, and exhale again all the way back down. Good. Now, like we did before, I have a thank you, Polly. I appreciate it. She didn't know what she was getting into when she came home today. Uh, so, so, uh, so uh, yeah, no, right? Thank you for participating, everybody. I really appreciate it. So, um, so I'm distracting you again on purpose because we're going to get right back into that position. We're going to try it again. Yeah. And each time you do this incrementally, you'll sense more. You'll be able to listen more deeply to yourself and your partner the more times you come back to this. So let's try it again. We're going to repeat the bubbling spring as, as we're connected three more times. This time, <laughs> this time the goal is... Where, where we've been feeling the breath and the bubbling spring within ourselves, I want you to test yourself being able to feel that bubbling spring. You're the pump now for your partner. You're driving that water, that spring up through your partner's body and back down again. So that's the goal for this session. So, so here we are facing each other and settling into our posture. We're rooting, we're becoming present within ourselves and we move to standing bare wrapping our arms around that tree, finding our connection. And now we're gluing that connection point and we're allowing with our exhale, our palms to float downwards, maintaining that connection. Now, from now on, we're, we're the pump for our partner, driving the bubbling spring within our partner. Breathe, inhale. All the way up to the crown of the head, breathing in <laughs> and exhale. Following that bubbling spring through your partner, back into the earth, and breathing in on the way up, all the way up to the crown of the head, and exhale. Feel your root, wiggle your toes into the ground, and breathe in one more time. Imagine you're standing on warm sand. 
pumping that water up through your partner and you exhale as that water travels back through. Good. So these are the skills and, and the tools that I, I leave with you. Um, this type of sensing activity um, takes practice without a doubt, but I'm confident. I've, I've felt it within myself. Um, Polly and I have had some practice over the years and um, it's a wonderful, wonderful activity. And I think that if you give it some time that you'll start to really feel benefits and be able to connect with others in a deep, much deeper way. Yeah, I think I thank you so much for sharing that. I think it's really, really, uh, you know, a beautiful thing when you can take the time to listen to your body and people and then connecting that with somebody else is super special. So, Polly, thanks for <laughs> taking part in that. Deb, thanks for being a good sport as well. Uh, is, uh, I, I would say definitely something that's worth trying, you know, folks trying out at home. And if you are, uh, are you're tuning in or you are, uh, you know, just watching the replay, definitely check out what Richard is doing at South Mountain PhD. Ron, if there's anything else that you're in new programs on your end or things that you would like to, you know, men mention while you're, you know, at this point? I would just, I would just like to say that, um, like you, Jason, the good work that you're doing openly for your community um, is the same thing that we're doing here. Um, my knowledge is your knowledge. So please, if you have questions, comments, any feedback, just get ring, uh, give me a ring, reach out. Um, you can find me at South Mountain Tai Chi on Google. And um, I, I would love to connect and share my knowledge and experience with you. Um, I would also like to uh, mention that um, I do have um, kids uh, Tai Chi fitness programs. Awesome. So yeah, so I, a lot of focus on adult, but um, I have several programs that focus on kids um, primarily ages are grades uh, five through eight, uh, five through nine and that in that range. And it's all about um, teaching similar skills um, to kids, uh, how to be still, how to be present, a little bit of meditation and Tai Chi movement, mind body activity. Yeah. Wrapped in wrapped wrapped in the good stuff that you do, Jason. Yeah, I mean it's it's um, it's so so powerful. So uh, and and we talked about this before, but you know, going through physical therapy school and and as, you know as I was going to get my doctorate, you see so much research that comes through on Tai Chi and how beneficial it can be, and often people it later in life and wish that they had found it sooner. So hopefully at least one person here who, who you know who finds this. Uh, who maybe hasn't thought about tech before will connect and give it a shot because it's a really, really powerful uh, and you know, technique and, and, and skill to build into your life. So thanks again so much for sharing uh, you know, that with us. And uh, hopefully everyone had, <laughs> had a nice little break from their usual, usual evening. So thanks for tuning in and we will see you all again very, very soon. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.